What's up everybody, it's your boy Vexa and today we're doing another kind of tutorial video I guess where essentially I'm going to explain how to get EVE or extended video export to work with Reshade and how to get it to work properly through Rockstar Editor. This also allows you to get your reshades to actually work within Rockstar Editor once you export in the video and in general it does make the whole process just a lot simpler and a lot more clean um, when it comes to actually creative videos. So first of all, as you're gonna see, I'm currently on my desktop. Now, I'm also gonna put into this description any type of plugins, mods, everything that you would need in order to get everything to work. So to begin with, I'm gonna be covering how to get extended video export to work with Reshade. It's gonna be a custom plugin essentially that I've got installed that you are going to want to install and follow my instructions on how to do it. So first of all, I will pack it up into separate WinRAR files and then you guys can download it and install it yourself as to how I show you how to do it here. So once you have the WinRAR file that I'm going to upload, what you want to do is go into your plugins folder. If you don't already have a plugins folder in your 5M directory, just create one and what you're going to want to do is drag and drop the extended video export.asi into this folder into your plugins folder then after you do that everything else within the eve folder will go into data cache sub process and it's going to be all one single file that is just going to be named eve now within eve you're going to have multiple files which are going to be preset extended video export log dot ini presets folder and dll's everything here is pre-configured to work with at least reshade 5.9.2 i personally haven't updated my reshade just because it still currently works and there isn't any issues with it now within the presets obviously you're going to have a whole different number of sections but what you're mainly wanting to do is when it comes to your eve it's going to be a lot to do with your presets file now, the way that I've created this is to get the best encoding and to also get the best kind of format for it. Then also within this, your FPS is gonna be 60. You will need to change your output folder. This is just my output folder that I'm currently using for my exported clips. Your motion blur samples 20 and motion blur strength from 2.5. This is probably what I find the most ideal. And a lot of this you will see within some of my previous videos but these are the options that I'm currently using, especially on the BMW E46 video that I created. Uh, I think it's called Bones. That's the exact same settings that I'm using here. And to me, personally, that looks the cleanest and it's still a good balance between quality at the end of the video and also the render times. So leave this as it is. The only thing that I will change is your export folder where you want the final rendered clips to actually go to. And then other than that, that's gonna be everything for Eve and this version of eve will allow you to use reshade with it so once you are finished creating your video basically what you want to do is enable your reshade as soon as you're exporting the clip and then it will export with the reshade as well so as you can see i'll just quickly create the folder a winrar file that i am going to upload and put it into the description of the video down below so once you open this you're going to get oh god winrar is always a problem so eve with reshade 5m directory plugins folder create if you don't have one simple drag and drop and that's where you get the eve asi and then data cache sub process again drag and drop drag and drop the whole folder so it's going to look something like this uh, plugins you're going to find this here again drag and drop that and then into not citizen data cache sub process and then eve and that's all going to be there all within one folder so that's as simple as getting Eve to work with Reshade. Just also real quick, I kind of forgot to add this when I was recording the video itself. I've only just realized this after I'm editing. Um, when it comes to actually fully installing Eve, what you want to do is, so with everything that I've put into this WinRAR file with Eve with 5M, what you want to do is, right, so first of all, take everything from the Eve folder, drag that to your desktop, and then also the ASI, drag that to your desktop as well. Now you're gonna have these two files, the E folder and the ASI folder. What you want to do is to actually go into your GTA 5 directory, like I've done here. 
I'm just going to quickly move this here. And what you want to do is literally just drag and drop both of these into your GTA 5 directory. Because the way that Eve works is because you want it to work with Reshade, it's kind of hard coded into the game itself. Um, so that's how you're going to actually get the plugin to start working. So that's just a little, um, just a little thing that you need to make sure that you don't forget. So just basically take both the folders and drag it into your actual GTA 5 directory and you should be good to go. And then also what I want to show is just how that will actually look. So for example, where did I put it into B slash clips? So for example, with the BMW video, it will export without audio, but I tend to use custom audio regardless, but this is kind of the Eve effect that you will have. And this is also running with reshade. So this does look slightly different compared to uh, what it would look like with a base game. But yeah, just keep in mind, your Eve clips will export without audio. So I would recommend if you're making like decent cinematics and montages, just use some custom audio with it. Uh, this was another clip I think that I used uh, as a little testing. The quality on this one was crazy, I can't lie. But yeah, that's besides the point. I think I've even got old ones. <clears throat> yeah, this is probably one of my best ones that I did. Uh, this turned out really nice, but again, that's using the exact same settings as I've already got pre-configured for the Eve setup. But yep, I'm just going to pack it all up, put it into the description, and then you guys can download that. And yeah, here's another BMW clip, I guess. But yeah, other than that, like I mentioned, what you're going to get within the folder is you're going to get this E folder, and you're also going to get the Eve ASI. And literally everything from the folder goes into your Fiverr application data folder, data, cache, subprocess, just drag and drop. It's literally quite that simple. And then when it comes to the when it comes to the plugin, put it into your plugins folder, which is just gonna be right here. Extended video exporter ASI. And that is it. Now I'm gonna go into how to actually install reshade correctly, properly with depth buffer so that your depth of field settings work and everything else of that sort. So I will be back in two seconds. Right, so now we're gonna cover the section of the video on how to install reshade for 5m and how to get your depth buffer and any other plugins and mods that you use uh, with reshade such as getting your depth of field to work uh, marty mcfly's rtgi mod which is essentially rtx i do believe that he's still constantly up updating it but essentially what you want to do is to download reshade 6.1.1 with full add-on support that's fine download that this is not going to be a virus at all this is from the official reshade.me slash hashtag download i will also put this into the description so you guys can follow it as well then what you're going to get is you're going to get the exe file that's fine and then what you want to do is i believe find 5m well actually you can either do it like this or you can browse go into your 5m directory and i believe go to 5m here and you click open then you click on next now it is going to be direct x 10 slash 11 um, that you would want to be selecting now this when you guys are installing my reshades for example this is the one thing that you need to make sure uncheck all and check all of them because you want to make sure that you get everything downloaded and installed in for reshade now i'm not going to click next because i've already got everything set up but essentially what you want to do is just keep clicking next until it says that it's been successfully installed and then essentially what's going to happen is you will end up getting a few files for reshade that's going to go into plugins then you're going to get your reshade shaders folder which is going to have all of the effects that are going to be using that you're going to be using then you also get textures with a lot of reshades you can go in and mess with a few of these i probably wouldn't recommend it unless you actually know what you're doing but that's your main folder is your reshade shaders folder and then inside here you i mean i still use emb a lot of people don't apparently but it is what it is i'm not sponsored by red bull but red bull if you see this video and you want to sponsor me feel free because red bull's getting expensive nowadays but yeah so you're going to get a few files um into your plugins folder 
like reshade and then also depends on all of the reshade presets that you already have i for example put all of mine into a separate folder which you can then set as a directory within reshade and i'm going to show you how to do that now so for example all of my custom custom reshades that i upload on patreon i put into one simple tab or folder should i say and then basically once you launch 5m which you're going to see in just a second what you can do is go directly to that folder and then it will take those presets from that folder and make them available for you to use so i am still currently using 5.9.2 once you up update yours it's going to go to 6.1.1 and then what you do is go to your settings now if you've done this correctly if you've installed it correctly once you go into add-ons you are going to see generic depth now this is your depth buffer that you use in order to get your rtgi to work in order to get your depth of field to work now because i am just in the menu it's not going to make any difference as to the oh it does actually but essentially if you're able to do this on the main menu then you're going to know that it's working correctly as it should um the easiest thing to check is just using adof or I believe it's cinematic DOF, uh, wherever it is. I don't know where it is right now. But if you just select a depth of field effect, you can turn it on, turn it off. Obviously, that's you're not going to be able to tell if, if your depth buffer is working currently. But if you go to the manual focus depth and you are actually able to change it and you're able to get it into focus and then out of focus, then you're going to know that it's working correctly as it should. Now, when it comes to your settings, essentially what you can do you can select the starter preset if you want i always tend because i've got a full keyboard i put my overlay key as page down and my effects as page up it's just probably the easiest for me it does depend on how you guys want to do it now those of you that are kind of up to date with my patreon i also tend to use a where is it save before and after pictures just because it makes it a lot easier you get the exact same picture with and without the reshade it's great if you want to do edits or anything like that with the pictures other than that in here there's not really much to change you can obviously change the pink i believe i installed this from nve because they have it as set as pink now what you can do is right here so if you go into your folders you can select which folders you want to use to see which presets you have so for example if i select these ones then i can select different presets that i have set up previously um, and then like i mentioned before i just got the folder for vexa select that and then all of my presets are within this folder and it's very easy to kind of keep track of it and then obviously new presets that i am planning on releasing on the patreon go straight into this folder and then you're able to keep track of them a lot easier which is very nice so essentially that is how to install reshade and um, extended video export for 5m like i said i will leave all of the links into the description on how to actually set everything up anyways that's essentially how to install reshade and extended video export for 5m like i said i'll put everything into the description on how to download it how to install it um well you're going to see throughout the video how to install it but essentially this should make reshade work correctly for you for your 5m and like i said if you do download my presets i probably just suggest go into your plugins folder create a vexa reshades folder and then just drag them all into there and you should be all good to go so yep it's been your boy vexa peace out